About half of the oxygen we breathe comes from land plants. The other half comes from the oceans. Much of it from photosynthesis, carried out by sea bacteria called cyanobacteria. In the photosynthesis process, carbon fixation and sunlight create sugars and oxygen, which is released into the atmosphere. This process involves two different systems that work in tandem, system two and system one. Cyanobacteria, like other organisms, are in danger of being infected by viruses, tiny creatures that enslave them in order to reproduce. And the viruses deplete the bacteria's energy until the bacteria are finally killed. In 2009, a research team led by Professor Oded Beja of the Technion's Faculty of Biology employed algorithms to discover the existence of viruses that carry genes for System 1 of the bacterial photosynthesis. So, we've come to the interesting question. Why should a virus carry photosynthetic proteins when it preys on bacteria that already produce energy via photosynthesis? To answer this question, a scientific race began to isolate the virus in the laboratory. A lab team led by Professor Debbie Lindell and Professor Oded Beja collected a water sample containing many viruses from the middle of the Pacific Ocean, near the Carolina Islands. At this stage, back in the lab, Dr. Svetlana Friedman infected 18 different strains of cyanobacteria with the environmental sample. The team was able to isolate viruses carrying the genetic information of System 1 by examining the strains of bacteria that lysed. The researchers, primarily Dr. Svetlana Friedman, later deciphered the virus's entire genome and the proteins it can produce. An examination of the bacterial membranes indicated that the photosynthetic proteins originate from the virus's genome. And here we have the simple and violent answer about the information the virus carries. It allows the virus to enslave the cyanobacteria until death. The virus carries genes that produce the proteins of photosynthesis specific to System 1. This enables the virus to manipulate the host to utilize sunlight while infected and to also rewire the photosystems until the cyanobacteria explode and die. This marks the first time that a virus carrying photosynthetic genes from the two photosynthetic systems has been isolated and studied in a laboratory. Such viruses affect the Earth's gas cycles of carbon dioxide involved in climate change and the production of the oxygen we breathe, since the infection slows down both carbon fixation and the production of oxygen by cyanobacteria.